Does it block the zombie? Okay. You block with the lich, won't it die and return without the enchantment? That's not how indestructible works. Indestructible doesn't leave play, so I suspect that it doesn't. Uh, no. Alright, uh, I guess. I mean, it might even be worse than that. Sacri doesn't it? Doesn't Dwindle say when it? I don't know if Dwindle, if the text on Dwindle is destroy or sacrifice. If it's sacrifice, it might just die straight up. I'm not sure. I don't know if sacrifice is a thing or not. So. If Dwindle says destroy, then it wouldn't have done anything. Destroy doesn't remove indestructibles. Blue with Manalus, sure. Oh, Bone Archer value feels bad. Am I blocking this? No, I'm not. Sure. Uh, I'm happy trading with you, brother. I've got a bunch of healing effects in hand, some more removal in hand. Seems good by me. You gonna counter it? No, I don't think so. Uh, I could have strangling spores here. I kind of like axing the dissenter. Looks like a strangling spore play. <laughs> Not quite. Thing is, this hand is strong enough. I don't actually have to race. All right. Wish I could draw another fucking land right now. Um. Nothing trades. The zombie trades. I guess I could get bounced again. Zombie is still my play. Sets up for one more mana I can murder or Luminous Bonds plus the center. He's got another sleeper in trouble for sure. Ooh, animate, huh? Okay. Sucks. I think I'm caging the drake. Uh, actually, caging the drake is worse than caging the skeleton, right? Uh, 
I really wish I had another mana, is what I wish right now. I could Dissenter plus Axe. Starting to get a bit low if he removes that Bloodletter, though. He's played a lot of fucking removal right now. Thank you. All right, one more time. Let's try to play around. Actually, no, five mana fits better. Let's cage here. Okay. Hey right, guys, I got food in front of me. I'm gonna eat on that. So I'm gonna mute the mic. See you in a second.
Well, he's made this race very complicated. Presumably, uh, he still has an answer here. Fountain's done a ton of work for us. The on effect uh, thing was really good. Just drop the land. Should be able to kill him here. I assume he has something that he's playing that prevents that. Maybe he's bouncing the Luminous Bonds, for example. All right. He wanted that quite badly. No block and kill him the next two turns. What are you talking about? If I don't block the guy, he still gains two life off that. That puts him at seven either way. I only have six power on the board if I have just the one, one dissenter. I have to get the dissenter killed to become the zombie so I can get seven power to make up for the two that the, the, the life uh, saved off his uh, link. But even if you're like, even if you're forgetting about the zombie, not blocking is the same as blocking in terms of his life gain. That mana screw really tried to cost us the game. Really hard. All right, let's just draw the Lich. This hand is fine with the Lich. So this is a Sacrifice Fountain of Renewal hand, probably. What do you think? He main decks three smelts. You want to lightning bolt it? You can lightning bolt it. You have my permission. You would never keep that hand. I think the hand's fine. The Fountain Renewal lets me draw. I have one and two plays. I have mana. I've got a removal for something like a 4-2 or something that comes out. I think it's fine. Epicure and GG for sure. Just draw the Epicure. Still okay drawing a Lich too. You know. Or land. So. Axe is one more damage. Gonna lightning me now. I mean to still have my cam off. No, I didn't. Thanks. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> Alright, he's taking his sweet time. He's setting up. His hand is all four, five, and six cost cards that are all super good. Might be time to sac- yeah. Alright, it's time to sacrifice some of these fountains, unfortunately. Okay. What did I eat? Food. What do you normally eat? I will admit this hand got a lot worse with just drawing lands uh, every single card except for one fountain. We have some draw here so we can do something. We'll see. 
The neonate holding the board down. Hey, Billy. All right, so we're getting combat tricked. Feels bad. I'm um, removing red, white. Does it matter if I remove the token or not? I guess I'd rather remove the token. I don't have any bounce effects. Oops. All right, incoming combat trick. Feels bad. Sure. And I need to draw something that isn't this. Another land's really not going to do the trick. Doom to center. It's not even a bad draw. If he wants to spend an entire turn in a combat trick to kill my neonate, perhaps he'll want to do the same for the dissenter. But we're getting flooded pretty hard right now. Alright. I wonder if token counts. Doesn't say non token creatures. Token probably counts. Sure, sure, sure. Not bad. Let's give him a chance first. What do you think? Actually, we can't. So I want to trade the dissenter off. Not that. Doesn't work. Never mind. Got to do it first. All right. Seven land drops thus far. I think we've had seven cards so far. Three, four, five, six. No, six cards, seven lands. Sure, I'll trade a dissenter for that. Trade a dissenter for that too. Yeah, sure. Accept it. Hey, Galgramax. What's new in a new location, new house? Pretty pleased about the new place. Let's go ahead and draw. Got men open for our lich. Not a lich, but still a pretty sexy dude. Um, I think I just value the efficient trades right now. I guess double blocking there is an efficient trade. All right, fine. Get the blood letter out. Drawing into a draw card is really nice. Center plus axe has been better than anything in this deck. Well, yeah, it's been good. Center is a pretty solid card. I don't think I've ever seen this thing trigger. He's made of what appears to be uh, cotton candy. It's really the cotton candy avatar, the thing I'm most worried about. All right, seems a good one. Uh, let's swap this over. Start beating him up. I guess I could have put it on the zombie swung and then transferred it to the other zombie. That would have been fine too. Wouldn't have left mana open for this, but that's fine. Welcome back, uh, Deacon DK. 
Thank you for the resub. 11 months. Sure, feels the pain, absolutely. That feels like a good one, right about now. One mana shy of playing both. Oh well. Okay, so he's dead next turn. Because I had enough mana to transfer X over. Again, swinging with the ground one might have been better than what I've done. I think I made two mistakes twice in a row with not uh, swapping an axe onto one of the zombies and swinging. I think that was a better way to get damage in. All right. So uh, it was a questionable start with all the land flooding, but we drew some cards afterwards, and that seemed to be enough. The dissenters did a lot of work with the axes. We're at four, chat. I predicted five. I like the axe, man. Axe is generally a pretty good value card. It's a value card on flyers, and it's a value card on uh, Creatures that you don't really care about if they're dying or not. The problem is it's slow, right? So it's very mana inefficient to keep swapping it around. It takes up a lot of your turns. But if you're sitting with a fountain or two fountains just ticking in the background, you have a lot of time to be slow. All right, I mean, it's not amazing. In fact, we only have one fucking black mana. It's a little bit unfortunate here. We have three of our four white mana in the entire deck. I don't know if this is actually a keep. I've got a four and a five with a two. That's fairly decent by this type of standard, right? I guess I could draw runner runner black mana into Lich, so I should probably play Swamps. Would have been nice last turn. Ten wild cards and a new account. Really lucky with pack opening, ended up getting ten rare wild cards in an air couch. Should you go for red blue or mono black? Red black? No, it's red black. It's RB, huh? Um, yeah, you hear uh, me struggling with stuff about that. Um, I don't. I, I think mono red is probably your most efficient way to gain points on ladder right now. Still, I still think that's probably the deck that does it most. It's probably one of the more boring decks, but the chain whirler, etc. Deck uh, seems to be the one that has a consistently good win rate versus pretty much everything else on there. Um, certainly not the most fun to play. If you're looking to do mono black zombie or red black, I would probably look into red black as a more efficient uh, thing. I don't think mono black zombies is very good, but maybe I just haven't seen enough of it. All right, uh, let's see what we got. You got your own hired blade? No. Nope. All right, well, it's two headed zombie time. And he's going to start being in trouble if he doesn't play creatures here, because two-headed zombies is a pain in the ass to deal with when you're behind on the board. Wrestling boar, sure. I could just cage that fucking thing and get in for seven more. We're going to tempo cage it. Adds another turn before he can block the zombies. Sure. I think he's still fucked here. Alright, it's actually a pretty good draw for us. I say that, but it's not really. Menace doing work here. He's got to block the higher blade, and then he has to play two creatures next turn. He showed no ability to play two creatures yet. Or remove the zombie. Chaotic one, thank you for the resub. Healthy. Get settled into the new place. Yeah, we're getting settled for sure. Uh, apartment's almost totally unpacked. I mean, probably like 80%. We've just transferred a bunch of the utilities, did all this stuff. You think what? 85. My wife says 85. 
83. Uh, Alright, we hit our five wins. Unexpected. Yeah, Zombie Menace is a surprisingly powerful ability. Like, if you have any... I mean, it's... If you have any board presence on the at all, then uh, Menace...